championship showdown between Alexander Volkanovsky and Conor McGregor. So here he is, the number one featherweight contender for a long time. This man believed he was the number one 145-pound fighter on the world. He's called out the champion for a long time. Now he's got the winning streak, the finishes to position himself for the title shot. We'll see what he can do with it. The pop is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion works his way to the octagon here tonight. Yet another title defense is what's in front of him. He is healthy, he is ready to prove that all the featherweights below him are just that, below him for a reason. He believes he is the champion for a reason. He believes he should be mentioned with the all-time greats. And that is what is at stake for him here tonight. Another title defense, another chance to prove that he is one of the greatest 145-pound fighters this octagon has ever hosted. All right, now we bring you the tail of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. McGregor is 26. Volkanovski is 31. McGregor will have a three-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC featherweight championship of the world. It's who first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, presenting the challenger, the notorious Connor McGregor. And now it is the champion. Out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 25 wins, one loss. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Alexander. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway.
crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, the champ Volkanovski continues to keep his opponent guessing here tonight. You lower the guard, and he goes upstairs and was able to land the right hand there. Landed that beautiful right hand. But if you start thinking leg kick, if you start thinking right hand, Alexander Volkanovski will change levels and explode into you. And when he gets his hands locked, you're going for a ride. This guy's a full-on mixed martial arts fighter. Nice strike. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by McGregor. Well, missed on that one. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Pretty good straight punch there by Volkanovski. Flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. How good is that right hand? strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Conor McGregor going for the head kick. No dice. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. He lands flush with that right hand. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And they separate. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. Now. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Look at the turtle in that kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Well, these numbers are unofficial, but they are strong. 43 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. And just 42% accuracy in terms of the land rate against Alexander the Great Volkanovsky. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there, and offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong. Tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a 
guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. All right, so a nice connection there with the one-two for Alexander Volkanovsky, the former rugby league standout. It's amazing to think not all that long ago this was a man who weighed 214 pounds. I mean, that is massive. 214 pounds fighting at featherweight now. Could you imagine the discipline that he had to show in order to get to this weight class and do it pretty comfortably. He's not dying when he's walking to the scale. He's a pro's pro in his showing in his performance. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Right hand punch from the clinch. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. You oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just out of range with the big right hand. Whoa! What a fight so far! Oh, what a way to end the round. He got stunned by a huge shot there just before you heard the horn. So he gets saved by the bell. The question is, though, what type of condition will he be in when he gets up off that stool? 60 seconds here to recover. The onus is on his corner to keep his head in the fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Oh, a huge block there. <laughs> Looping left hand misses the target. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. McGregor's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Oh, nice left hook there from Volkanovski. Volkanovski's such a phenomenal fighter. I believe his confidence is what truly carries him. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt away. Back. Conor McGregor gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position. For him. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Well, the numbers continuing to pile up. 84 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Accuracy rate has dipped a little bit. 39% now on the connections against Alexander Whoa! Volkanovski. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He is getting lit up right now, John. right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! Not there. Punch is blocked. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects. And that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. He's got the single collar tie. Lands the right hand. How about that chin? Nice punch by McGregor. 30 seconds to go now. 
And there comes the separation now. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Seconds winding down in round three. Volkanovski gets tagged. How about right. those five minutes? So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. It's a oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Volkanovski's got the full mount. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. Volkanovski's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh! Oh, big diamond punch to the head. Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. McGregor's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Back to the feet now. Leg kick checked by Volker. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. Man, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And he landed the right hand there. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Volkanovski gets stung by that leg kick. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh! Holy smoke! He put him to sleep! Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. He's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 34 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great Monogoski. Watch the path to UFC featherweight gold and glory still goes through this man. And after watching that knockout here tonight in defense of his title, it's hard to envision one of these current featherweights giving him a true run for his money. I mean, we have the most talented featherweight division in the entire world, and this man is ruling the top it 